Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I encourage you to go back and watch the first video and watch these from the beginning. Um, it takes you through my journey from my very first appointment. Um, I'll put a link to it. Uh, it'll be somewhere over here or maybe over there. I think it's actually over here. The video, the picture's backwards, so it's probably up over here somewhere, right up over there. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is my second appointment with the physician assistant and the nutritionist. And um, again, there's not much to this appointment. Nutritionist, uh, she gives you a bunch of samples, uh, vitamin samples, some protein water, uh, you know, whatever samples she has, she gives you samples that you can try. Um, just a heads up that most of the protein stuff has a really weird aftertaste. Uh, some people don't mind it, uh, I did. I didn't like any of them. I'll talk more about that after the video. So right about now, it's probably been uh, almost two years to the date uh, when this appointment was. Um, and I think uh, I was down maybe 10 pounds, 10 or 15 pounds. Uh, by the time I'm editing this, I'll probably already know that answer. I want to say it's closer to 10. So I, let's say I was probably around 10 pounds by this time. Um, Again, that's just uh, replacing my meal, my breakfast with a protein shake. Uh, again, some people don't like those. Uh, the shakes were okay, and then after the surgery, they can't stand them. They don't want anything to do with them. Um, I encourage you that if after your surgery, and you don't want those shakes anymore, you had ex anything extra that you have, pass it on to the next guy. There's, uh, We have a support group. Pass it on to somebody else. Ask in the group and see if someone else wants it. Uh, it was... It was nice. I was able to pass on all my uh, a lot of the stuff that I had bought. Um, I overbought. Uh, that's something else. I you know, you know keep your eye on. Uh, don't overbuy. I, I overbought quite a bit, but that's just me. I usually overdo that anyway. So I will talk more about this after the video. Uh, enjoy this one, and I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay, so I had two more appointments today. Went well. My first appointment was with the dietitian. Uh, didn't really tell me anything I didn't already know. You know, limit your portions. You know, watch what you're eating. Uh, I guess they talk, she talked more about what you could eat after the surgery than what I could eat before. Um, discussed a little bit about the liquid diets and that you're doing before, but like I said, most of it was afterwards and, and trying to get through that process. Uh, so she did tell me that you know I'm already doing a meal replacement in the morning for breakfast and she said a month out once I get the date which uh, my psyche valve is on October 1st and once I get that report then they'll schedule the, the surgery get insurance approval then schedule the, the surgery so a month before the, the date you go on a two meal replacement um, so one month before the appointment you start you replace breakfast and lunch with the meal with the shakes and then two weeks before you go all three it's all strictly liquid diet and they, she said uh, that's to shrink your liver I guess not eating will shrink your liver that's kind of weird but that's what they said so uh, I guess that makes it easier to do the procedure however however that works you know I'm not a doctor so uh, after the dietitian I went to the physician assistant again um, she was the one that set up all the appointments to begin with um, and we just talked it over to see how things were going if I had any questions and, and I really don't yet I mean I'm you know at some point I'm going to as like as I get closer I probably will For now it's doing really good uh, but I'm down 10 pounds and you know they said everybody makes it and, and I'm sure I'm, I'm pretty sure those last two weeks when you're on a full liquid diet I'm pretty sure in those two weeks you'll probably lose 25 pounds just those two weeks but after talking with the PA, she's it's um, it's three to your surgery. It will be three to six months after you start, and I started in whatever it was, the end of July. Begin. I don't remember when it was now, but uh, but yeah, once you start, it's three to six months from that date, not after you lose the weight, like that other lady said. Um, so anyway, yeah, everything went, went well. I'm down ten pounds. Thanks for watching. Bye.
okay there you go everybody so that was another video uh again the nutritionist was uh spoke mostly about what i could eat afterwards and you know how things were going to go afterwards on uh yeah i was still two months maybe a little maybe a little less uh from my actual surgery date i hadn't gotten that yet um uh she did give me a lot of samples uh and i did try them uh I try them all I, every day. I took one of those vitamins. They all have some kind of weird aftertaste. Like I, I guess that's just how it is. Uh, like even, even the food uh, when you do this, if you do the snacks, that all had an, a weird aftertaste as well. Um, the soups were actually pretty good. The the unjury broth stuff that uh, that was actually pretty good. I actually enjoyed those. Uh, that uh, kind of kept me going afterwards. Um, uh, the protein water, I tried that before the sur surgery. I tried it after the surgery. It was just, that was just gross. I could not get past that. Ended up giving that away to someone else that, uh, that you know, they liked it. And I gave it away for free. And it was nice. Uh, you know, I paid it forward. Um, and that's what the best, probably, the, you know, that's a good thing about the group that we're in. Is, uh, uh, we will do that. Um, help each other out. That blood work was always good. Um even before the surgery, before and after the surgery, my blood work was always good. So uh, even now I don't take any vitamins. Uh, not even my, uh, I don't even take my multivitamin anymore. I, they're just good, uh, like everything's been good. So my, every time my blood work, it's always been good. So yeah, just, you know, some uh, some people don't, don't uh, take that as gospel. Some people need those vitamins. Um, I'm just one of those people that, you know, everything's been good. I've been eating right and and like I said, when I do my blood work, it's always good. And I do, I, I do it not only for this. I mean, after the surgery, it's only yearly. But I also do my my biannually one with my regular doctor. So yeah, it's uh, it's always been good. Um, all my numbers are always always right in right where they're supposed to be. So it's been great. Um, I think that's gonna wrap this this one up. And uh, don't forget, to, guys, to like and subscribe. I want to try and keep these going. Um, if there's enough interest, I will. Yeah, uh, like and subscribe. It doesn't. You don't get put on any kind of mailing list. Uh, all it does is uh, is help me grow my channel, and we'll keep going. And I, I have some ideas on what what I can keep doing. And and uh, if you guys have any ideas on how to make this better uh, uh, or what I could do, uh, feel free to comment. Uh, there's no, no one's really commenting on anything so i'm just kind of winging all this here so keep in mind i'm still new uh and talking to the camera is still weird uh, no matter how you do it it's weird you're just talking to a camera all right so uh, uh take care guys i'll see you next time <laughs>